Our public schools are the cornerstone of our community. The education and opportunities we provide for students today shape their futures and ours. Schools, like any organization, need money to operate. But in Wisconsin, funding the needs of our schools has been a growing challenge. State policy limits how much school districts can spend. The vast majority of school funding comes from a combination of state dollars and local property taxes. It's called the revenue limit, and it acts as a cap per student that school districts can spend each year. Even if school costs go above this level, schools can't spend any more than this limit. From 1994 to 2009, these revenue caps were adjusted for inflation, which meant they helped schools keep up with ongoing needs. But since 2010, the resources districts need to survive have fallen farther and farther behind the basic costs to operate our schools. By the end of 2025, the revenue limit will have fallen more than $3,300 per student behind inflation. With a district of 1,000 students, that's a decrease of more than $3 million. What's more, each district has a different revenue cap, and these caps are not tied to the needs of the students or the cost to the schools that serve them. Our job as a school district is to make sure all of our students have access to the exceptional educational opportunities we provide, no matter what their needs when they walk through our doors. But state funding falls short of what it costs to meet the specific needs of many of our students. When that happens, we have to use money from our general fund to cover the difference, which means taking dollars from other important needs. The largest portion of our budget goes towards staffing, our people are the heart of our schools. Without enough educators who instruct, support, and inspire learning, schools can't provide the lessons, programs, and opportunities our students deserve. Other important budget items include curriculum, technology, transportation, operations, and maintenance. School districts work hard to balance their budgets, yet resources for schools have been shrinking year after year since 2010, with costs growing so much faster than funding, districts are always looking for ways to trim costs and work smarter, like deferring needed school maintenance, cutting programs, reducing staff, and many other strategies. But schools can only cut so much before they start to harm educational opportunities for their students. To maintain class sizes, keep up with rising costs, take care of school buildings, and protect high-quality instruction, Many districts have turned to their community to help fill the state-imposed funding gap. Since the arrival of revenue limits, over 80% of school districts have done so by asking local voters to raise their caps through an operating referendum. Most have used the option multiple times. Our children don't have time to wait for state policymakers to fix the school funding system. By putting the needs of our students first, we are investing in their potential and the future of our whole community. Strong schools make strong communities where families want to move and stay. Learn more about school finance in Wisconsin by visiting our websites.